You know, I think the recent experience actually speaks to that. Right now, corporate profits have returned to pre-recession levels. They're back to, you know, sort of the boom of the bubble years. And the labor market is still down over 11 million jobs. So that says it right there that what's good for corporations is not necessarily good for America. A corporation can make profits by cutting wages, by cutting workers. That's not necessarily what's going to make this country prosper. So we have to think very carefully before we say business leaders are going to make the best CEOs of the of the country. That's right. So he's the head of a of a of a company. That's exactly what you said. They have six. He admitted sixty percent of their revenues come from foreign operations. So. I don't have anything against ML. I don't know any. I don't know him as a man. But what we need to make sure we have here is somebody who will focus on what we need to do to get the jobs back. And this focus on competitiveness is really a misplaced focus. We right now have a trade deficit that's lower than it was before the recession started. We were brought into this recession not because of a competitive problem, of a competitiveness problem, but because of the bursting of an eight trillion dollar housing bubble. The situation that we have now is an utter lack of demand across the board. It's that working on the trade deficit will help. We can get jobs that way, but that's a dollar policy issue. That's the that's the lever that we could pull there to really deal with the trade deficit. Um, but the, the main point here is that competitiveness, that's not what's wrong with this country. 